Hello everyone, this is Mikemus, and I am going to be showing you how to connect multiple 1-bit adders in Minecraft. Now as you can see here, as the moon is going down, the sun will come up and it will be a lot easier to see. We have a 1-bit adder. I've already shown you how to construct this and the digital logic behind the gates that we've used to construct this. Um, I've had some requests recently, though, on how to cascade these in order to create a ripple carry adder, allowing you to go to multiple bits like my 12-bit adder here, as you can see. Well, the technique to do this is actually fairly simple with my design. What you do is, right here, this connection, you use to bridge to this connection, right here here. So what you will see is that those lines will actually connect if you were to put them directly next to each other. As I'll show you here. On this top floor you'll see that this is the exact same design. The only difference is I don't actually have the switches because the inputs are actually coming from below the adder. So each adder is actually getting its input from torches below it. Makes it a little slower, but it's a little more compact design. So here's your inputs that you would see over here. These same inputs are located right here. Just to give you a little placer to realize where you are on the adder. So with that understood, you have your XOR gate here which then goes into the AND gate. This AND gate and this repeater from that AND gate, these two AND gates are what creates your carry out. And simply connecting your carry out to your carry in on the adjacent adder will allow you to create a ripple carry adder. Ripple carry adders are a little slower, but they're easier. They don't require as much circuitry, so they make the design a little smaller in this game. As you can see here, I have 12 of these adders. And if I recall correctly, it should start with this one here. Yes, this is my carry input. This is the original carry input. What you do is you have it connected, as I do in this case, to this section here. It carries into our first bit, which is 1. This first adder you see here is our first bit. Then it'll carry over to the next adder. And it'll carry over, then it'll carry out, and then carry in. And then carry out, as you can see, carry in. You just repeat this process over and over. And then what I have here is then it goes all the way around to start all the way over here again, where it'll again carry in as you can see carry out as you can see here and you just repeat this process until your very last carry out on your 12th full adder right here which will represent your 13th bit on your display as you can see here that carry out is coming over here coming down here and connecting to your 13th bit. As you can see, it's lit. So you essentially connect the output on each of the adders for display, and then the carry out is the last one. It represents the highest bit. And the reason you do this is um, if you didn't have a carry out, you would not be able to display this computation that I have here which is 2048 plus 2048. It would simply turn off this 2048 and you would be receiving no information whereas with a carryout it allows you to display that 13th bit computating it to the um, maximum capability of your 12-bit adder. Um, I hope this clears up any um, questions anybody might have had about how to connect these adders with this design that I have here. If you have any future questions, feel free to ask them. I'm always happy to explain. Um, and I do learn things from people's questions.
um, have to research it myself before I can give the answers. Um, but yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy this and hope it helps you out and hope you enjoy the game of Minecraft. Take care.